This is the theme of setback and misery, the setup, select frames. So the first image that we get of the film is this, the opening scene is uh, a cigarette and a lighter. We don't really know why we are getting this image, but um, prior to this, we get typing sounds. So we have to, we have to uh, assume that someone is typing, right? The typewriter is not typing by itself. And so then we get this image of the cigarette and the lighter, I mean, the, uh, the match, and we want to know why. We understand that someone is going to smoke this cigarette, of course, but we want to know why that this is sort of like the opening uh, scene. Then we get a wine glass. Again, we don't know why we are seeing a wine glass. It's going to serve some purpose in the film, of course. Then we see uh, wine chilling on uh, ice. Of course, someone is typing and we see words on the page along with the typewriter. So there's some purpose of the film that is essentially telling us that someone is typing. It is their purpose to type. And maybe afterwards, they're going to drink that wine and smoke that cigarette. Okay, so here we have Paul Sheldon. We are introduced to Paul Sheldon. Looks like he's in a cabin, right? Um, sitting at a desk. Uh, he's been typing because we see that there are there's finished work there. We also see a ball of paper, so that lets you know that he was struggling with one of those pages and had to tear it up. And so sometimes, if you are a writer and you're trying to push out ideas. Sometimes that alone, that process alone can be a setback for you because you honestly want to believe that that every page you write or every page you type is a good page, is a good typed page, right? Or a good written page. Why else would you be typing, right? But sometimes you can mess up along the way. You can say to yourself, this is still, this is not good character development, etc. cetera. Etc. So these balled up pages that you see on the uh, on the desk is just an indication that every writer has personal setbacks or or say not personal process setbacks. Uh, it's not always that the typewriter is wrong or something like that. Sometimes it's just you didn't type the right character descriptions or you feel like there should be more with that particular character. And you're going to see that even with a uh, uh, Paul Sheldon, how Annie sort of uh, pushes Paul to be a little better, right? She she thinks that Paul's new book that he's actually typing here and he's not going to title it uh, is something that is below him, but that's only because she's biased towards the Misery series. So anything that he does beyond Misery is not going to be good for her in a way. So he's looking at his work. Any writer who knows uh, what it feels like to, to finish a page uh, and have to look at it and examine it and think about it, this is your process. So we get a lot of process at the beginning of the film. And then he writes, once he, he finishes that last page, the end. Now, the end, as many writers know, um, that's just the end of that particular book. He's not writing the misery book here. This is a new series where he wants to be, I mean, a, a new book where he wants to be now taken seriously. And so he doesn't feel like the misery series is serious enough work, right? And so the end here is really for him, the beginning, the beginning of a new um, career writing serious work. But this is gonna be thwarted by Annie because these pages, she's going to have him to um, basically blow up. So he has finished his work. Um, just like anybody, once you finish, you gather up all your pages. You feel good about what you have done. That balled up paper that you see on the desk or that um, white out that you see on the desk, both served a purpose. The pencil that you see 
the um, clip that you see, the paper clip that you see, all the other pencils and that other bottle paper, they all serve the purpose, the typewriter. They are there for a reason. And the um, writer, well, the director, Rob Reiner, has us to focus on this for a reason that he has done a task that has taken a great deal of time. We will learn later that it took about six weeks of him staying in this cabin to to push out this work. And so to have it sort of not praised by Annie and then, you know, kind of discard it because it wasn't up to her standards or up to the misery standards is a blow. It is a definite uh, setback. He just essentially wasted six weeks. And so he's untitling it. And, uh, you know, only writers would understand why it should be untitled. I always think I like to comment things from a title, even if it's a tentative title, something to guide my understanding to untitle it. Um, even though he's he's giving uh, claim and ownership to it by putting the words or typing the words by Paul Sheldon is to kind of send it out to to just the unknown It's it's. It's not really giving it a purpose. Everything behind it might be purposeful, but it needs a title. And later when he when he has to um, when Annie sort of uh, rescues him and she wants to read the new book that's in his leather briefcase, he asks uh, she asks, what's your book about? What's the title? And he says he doesn't know. I don't know what it's really about which is interesting for a person who wants to go into serious work and he doesn't know what the title is. He doesn't know what the book is about. So he was typing for six weeks for, for no good reason. Right. And so then he gives her permission to uh, maybe come up with a title or maybe you tell me what you think the book is about. And that's to me uh, beyond the fact that his car drives off the road uh, as being possibly the first setback, I think the fact that that he gives her permission to title his book that he wrote and to tell him what the book is about is a major setback for him. And we'll see that throughout the book, I mean, throughout this film analysis, but it's interesting that this is a person who says he wants to do more serious work, but he doesn't have a title. Or this is a person who says he wants to do more serious work, but he's asking someone else what the book is about. And so to me, that is a major setback. All right, like, subscribe, and visit. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for more discussions. You can visit my YouTube channel for further film analysis. It's Favorites Film Analysis as the title of the channel. Uh, you can always send me an email and ask me a question, ReginaYFavors at Yahoo.com. My Overcoming Setback, Five Keys for Entering and Exiting Correction book uh, will become available around October 2021. I'm still doing some editing. The book does not focus on film analyses, but I use uh, the content that, that I created for the book to support my, um, my perceptions of setback used as a theme in select films. So when the book becomes available, I will send out a notification video audio. Um, thank you very much for visiting the channel.